Nick, uh, it's been a while since we sat down and just had a conversation. Uh, I want to know what uh, having the coronavirus is like for you. <laughs> oh, oh, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> just, now I can uh, tell my grandchildren about it. And... You've had the Rona? Yeah. And so, is this the direction you thought this uh, conversation was going to go? No, no, this isn't. This isn't how I planned it out here. But okay, all right, let's uh, let's let's do it the way you planned it. All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Um, we're just gonna do a little um, Q and A with Mark. Um, just kind of talk about what's going on next year, what's going on this year, what's up with events, some new features to the trailers, and uh, some other fun details. So let's get into it. Um, so first. Uh, What's going on with this coffee here? This segment is brought to you by <laughs> Water Avenue Coffee and the special bean blend. Uh, this is actually, uh, we got a call from somebody who's really interested in bean trailer up in Portland and he has an amazing um, coffee house and is an amazing roaster from Portland, and so uh, we worked on a bean blend, and there you go, we have a bean blend. I, I think I saw a comment on Instagram with someone saying that they couldn't quite afford the bean, but they'll settle with the coffee for now. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I well, uh, yeah, we're we're on the early stages of that, but I think at some point soon here it'll be available. Uh, how about how about events? What's going on? Um, this year, end of, uh, or start of next year, what are we doing? Yeah, so, you know, we had, um, you were there, we had an event in Moab, that was fun. I think, you know, everything's just weird because of the coronavirus, right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we were really limited in the kind of things that we could do. And so, um, the event thing really uh, is contingent on what happens with the coronavirus, but uh, things that we're planning, uh, we're planning on doing overland shows, you know, there's uh, east and west, and I guess there's a new one that's in uh, Denver, I think. Yeah. Uh, and there's also a four-wheel show in Southern California that we plan on doing. Okay. Uh, in terms of those kind of promotional events. Right. Uh, but we want to also try to do uh, some bean-specific bean owner events. And I'm really curious uh, from our audience who'd be interested in uh, potentially a Baja trip in uh, February, January time frame. I'd really like to try to go down there with a bunch of bean owners. Yeah, that would be crazy fun. And we got plenty of bean owners out in California, so comment if you're interested. Um, and then how about, how about the shipping container? What's going on there? Uh, yeah, so uh, we're pretty excited. We've uh, designed basically uh, the Bean Lounge, which is a shipping container that uh, we've customized into basically a rolling bar. I mean, let's, let's be honest about what it is. It's basically a rolling bar. And uh, it's also going to be a sales office in California, again, contingent on what happens with the coronavirus. Uh, our intention is for Cindy and I to start spending more time in Southern California this winter, uh, promoting bean and uh, giving people access to bean so they can see it. Yeah. Can we get into details about that at all? Like, is there is there going to be a, a, a deck on the top? Or? There's uh, <laughs> no deck on the top, but uh, there's an amazing deck that will swing out from the side. In fact, we should probably, uh, at the end of this, go get some uh, footage of it. Yeah, totally. Um, so we got California coming up. We got some cool events coming up. Um, how about... I'm, I'm glad the fly is over there now. Jeez. <laughs> Gosh. Um, how about uh, Dealer Network? What's going on there? Uh, People are always curious. You know, we have people across the country that yeah. want to see bean. Yeah. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts? Network. Um, that's a good question. Not an easy question to answer. Right away. Here it comes. 
Let's see, I'm gonna try to see if we can facilitate his death right on video. Maybe the reactions are quite as quick as he. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know if you've been to an RV dealership before, but uh, I, I don't know that that's the kind of experience that we want to have our main clients have. And so, um, right now we're planning on marketing the bean directly um, and at some point uh, we might open up some regional offices uh, in the west starting in the west and then work our way east gotcha what's the upholster about okay so we've hired an upholster very experienced upholster there's always been some things that uh, being didn't have like a custom cover right like uh, the covers that we recommend now are basically cheap ones that you can order off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. They might not have the longest shelf life. Um, and so we've hired an upholster who will uh, produce custom covers for us. I've always wanted an enclosure for the galley area, you know, like if it's windy or it's cold and you want to cook back there or you want to just hang out back there. So we're probably going to work on developing those kind of things. So an upholster to help us with uh, the cushions, the uh, bunk bed, and covers, and some enclosure things. If you have some ideas on things that you would like to see from a custom upholstery standpoint for being, uh, we're curious to hear about this. Cool. That's, that's really awesome. I'm extra excited about the... Uh, Alley, that, that would be fun. Um, so we have a lot of people that come in and you know they want to see Bean. This we're in our showroom right now. Um, what's that experience like? Like, uh, what can people expect? Can they walk in any time? Um, what, what are our standards? Yeah. Um, I gotta be honest. Like when people come and visit us here, uh, a lot of times they're coming from out of state right and um, I, I'm really cognizant of their time and I want to make sure that they actually get to see what they wanted to see so uh, we don't have any particular path that we go we answer the questions that they want us to ask because uh, some people are super interested in features and some people are super interested in construction we're very proud of the design the functionality and how it's built. So when people come here, they can uh, want to make sure they have a good experience. And I think the overwhelming experience that they have is that it's, you know, you've probably had this experience where you're super excited about a product, right? You do all the research and then you go look at it and it's completely underwhelming, right? It doesn't live up to expectation. Mm -hmm. I think in general, uh, people that come and see being here are, um, it exceeds their expectation in terms of refinement, in terms of finish, and in terms of construction. Yeah, I, I get the same reaction. Everyone's always super surprised to just see our entire facility and uh, our different you know, models that we have set up. So it's, it's a fun time, so come on in anytime. Um, I think the other thing, Nick, just uh, before we move on, um, I think people are surprised at how big the facility is oh and, for sure and the level of experience and professionalism that we have in our manufacturing operation i feel like you should expand on that point um just the teardrop trailer industry versus what we're doing here i think yeah. that's probably why people are so surprised when they come in yeah. uh, just with the you know home builds and that right. type of thing yeah so Bean is uh, not the biggest part of the entire, of the enterprise, right? Bean uh, it exists in support of a much larger company that does branding for major U.S. brands. Right. And so we basically took our materials capabilities, our manufacturing expertise, and our passion and developed a trailer that, uh, you know, uh, supplements the entire organization so that's why I think most people are a surprised how big it is B, how professionally managed it is 
and see that it's in support of a much bigger thing. Gotcha. Yeah, that's 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 good stuff. Um, so how about let's move on to features. Is there anything new for 2021 that we can talk about? Yeah, so when we first started, uh, you know, I, I thought in terms of model years and uh, I think, you know, we've concluded recently that thinking in terms of model years is kind of a flawed way of looking at things. So yeah. we're, we're constantly developing things. We don't believe in long planning cycles. We get crazy ideas and we have a large development team and we just say, go pursue it, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, we may be working on 15, 20 different things at any given time. Some of them sound completely absurd uh, and some of them are very intriguing and exciting for us. Mm -hmm. Not all of those things flush out. So rather than try to hit these cycles of model years, we implement um, features, changes as they prove themselves and uh, the market demands them. So, like for example, the front window, that's a big recent addition to being trailer. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, and the table, right? Like the first video that we did, right? Like we got all these comments about how wobbly the trailer was. Right. Well, it was it was a prototype, right? <laughs> so, you know, it was mid development, and sometimes it does take various iterations of things before you put back. The table is not wobbly now. Another thing we're trying to perfect is just our production. Uh, so. Are we going to have any expanded capacity to take on uh, more, uh, get, get trailers out to people faster? Yeah, so um, the orders that we've uh, gotten in the last three months uh, have way outpaced our capacity. So I'm super proud of the, the fact that our capacity has grown exponentially. You know, we can produce four times as many beans today as we could as recently as three months ago, right? But, um, you know, we're, we're taking multiple orders of beans on a weekly basis. Um, I don't know if we're the biggest, fastest growing teardrop trailer company in the country, but I'd be surprised if we're not because of the level of volume and growth. We gotta be pretty pretty close. We're, we're up there for sure. <laughs> uh, anything else you wanna talk about? Um, yeah, I wanna talk a little bit about Cindy. So okay. uh, my wife, Cindy, uh, she was a clinical director at the University of Utah and uh, she just joined the trailer and she and I are really the ones that are gonna spend more time opening up California. So. Uh, if you call us here at Bean Trailer, you're probably used to getting Richard, and now there's a new name, Cindy, and that's my wife. And it's super fun to uh, have her working here. So we are adding a lot of new features. Uh, what is your favorite feature that we have going on right now? Um, I think the front window, man. I think the front window just, you know, I love uh, after having a great night's sleep, uh, you know, just pushing that blind up and looking out the front window and seeing what kind of a day there is, right? Yeah. Uh, and so that, I think, is one of my favorite features. I have a lot of features that I like about me. I, in general, I just like how the inside of the cabin feels, right? It's just a, a super inviting place to decompress and unwind. Yeah. How about you? What are uh, your favorite features? I immediately go to the front window as well, um, but I'd say my uh, favorite would be the table for sure. Uh, just to be able to expand like the interior interior space um, and utilize the you know the trailer in a completely different way. Um, I think I, really you like the table. Yeah, I love the thing. I've never set it up. Oh, I I, I use it like all the time. Well, I, I guess so. <laughs> So the first time I used it, me and Tiff were out and uh, we we went out when it was like I don't know, 10, 15 degrees out. So we turned the heat on in the cabin, got the table oh, okay. set up, cooked right. outside, brought the food back in right. and stayed warm. You know, it was too oh, cold for okay. it to stay. Right. Yeah, okay, now, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, so I think the table, I just, 
I love that it takes it from just, you know, this open concept to a uh, more relaxing, maybe you could play cards on it and right. eat there. How about, what's your, which, which one's your favorite galley? Premium Plus. Really? For sure. That's why I'm on the opposite end, right? Be, <laughs> beat stock, just uh, just uh, base plus is my favorite galley. Well, with the addition of a fridge, right? Like yeah. Fridge. Just like the simplicity of, you know, being able to fill up those water jugs and go to the grocery store and you're gone. For whatever reason, I like cooking, like, off to the right. Like, just right. the, it gives you more yeah. you know, cooking space. All right, should we wrap this up? Looks like we're running out of steam. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, we really appreciate you guys. <laughs> I guess break time is over.